Say hello to my little friend. Hello, my name is Bottle Cap Poppy with Catch and Release Metal Detecting. Welcome to my very first video regarding metal detecting. I just want to say I'm a new hobbyist and this last year I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of metal detecting people who have posted videos and I've learned quite a bit about metal detecting. Uh, my goal is to beautify the world by removing as many bottle caps as I can also to have a lot of fun and put together some kind of fun and quirky videos for the rest of you metal detectors. So uh, just without further ado, we'll get into it. But before that, I'd also like to thank the following metal detecting channels. Uh, I've learned quite a bit from watching your videos and also learned quite a bit uh, about putting together YouTube videos. So thank you and uh, let's uh, enjoy the video. Have a great day. Okay, this is the local park, Collegian Park in Fresno, California, where I've been practicing my metal detecting trade. And I've learned quite a bit here. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on uh, beach detecting, which I really love, but I'm two and a half hours, three hours away from all the beaches here in the Central Valley of California. So this park has been a good place for me to practice. Now, one of the things I've learned is instead of towel lines like on a beach, we have what I call the chair lines here at the soccer fields and you'll have it's interesting the parents for the uh, opposing teams do not sit on the same side of the field they sit on opposite sides so right here at this side I would have one line of chairs and parents in the middle there would be two lines uh, one for this field one for the other field and then on the far side where the school is there will be another line there so it's really kind of four lines uh, the two in the middle and the one on the outer side of the fields. And the middle one has just been very, very productive. Um, I found quite a bit there. Um, a lot of coins um, and so forth. So it's been a lot of fun. The other thing I, I found I can metal detect is anything like this <clears throat> or like that. Kids like to hang on them, hang upside down. Even the adults goof off around them. So it's a lot of times things fall out of their pockets. So uh, that's uh, been a lot of fun. As you can see, we're getting signals all the way from 13, 39, 83. It's probably a lot of junk, but some coins in here as well. We'll go back with the sniper coil and see how that works. Getting 83, 80. Good chance there's a dime here. Maybe a penny and some junk. Two inches down. Let's see. Definitely in that pile. So let's see. There it is. Looks like a penny. A 
Or is it? Yeah, a memorial penny. There may be more in there. Let's check. Iron. Yeah, getting iron. Maybe six inches to the right of the last penny. Got another signal for a dime or a copper penny. There it is. Bottle cap. One more of this satanic spawn off the face of the earth. These little bad boys always sound so good. But they're not. <sighs> so just a few more inches mixed iron with a with a dime signal. Dime two inches. Let's see what we've got, baby. Well, that promising dime signal turned out to be an unpromising bottle cap. I get a lot of Coronas. Uh, I think it's because of their superb advertising. But I'm going to propose to President Trump that we impose some sort of tariff on Corona and use the money to pay for a bottle cap cleanup across America. We've got a penny signal here. Right there. So we had multiple signals here. We had this cap, but what's interesting Well, I thought I had multiple signals, but apparently this cap is what set off my pinpointer. Oh well, c'est la vie. Once again, mixed signals, ranging from nickel to penny. So let's see. I can see the little bastard when I was digging. Another 
bottle top. I hate digging these things up. They just get you going thinking it's something cool and it's not. But the good news is that score one for me, zero for Satan. A nickel signal here, about two inches down, ranging about 45 to 55. Let's see what it is. Yeah, if it's one of these these little suckers, they always ring up. It could be like a nickel or even a gold ring. They're really frustrating. Oh well. Let's put it in the pouch and cover the hole. So I'm getting a signal here, 80, 84, 85, normally that would be like in a clean place, that'd be like a dime. Here, who knows. Well we got it out, it's in this clump, there it is, Ooh. nope that was it. It's a penny, a Lincoln penny. It rang up like a dime. The copper pennies typically ring up like dimes. This one I can't quite make out the date. It's in the 70s. But it kind of looks like a 78, which would be a zinc. But it's not very corroded. So. Anyway, you probably ask why I don't rebury the clad coin like this, especially the pennies, is I bury them if I think they're going to last another 50 years. If they don't last 50 years, like the zinc pennies can corrode within months, certainly not years, but months, I don't bother to bury those. I come back in 50 years, there's not going to be anything there but zinc ions in the ground. We're going to move over to the tot lot now. Looks like it was a earring or a 